Hello everyone, welcome to Form 3 Mathematics. This is the part 6 video for chapter number 6, Angles and Tangents to a Circle. So in the previous video, we already looked at what is a tangent and some properties related to tangent. And this time we are going to look at the properties related to two tangents. There are two tangents on a circle. So now here we have one circle. If we draw another circle onto this circle, it will form two intersection points. So from this intersection point, if we draw a line to the center of this red circle, which is the radius of this red circle. And then we draw another line, connects the center of a blue circle to the center of a red circle. And then we draw another line from this intersection point to the center of the circle, which is the radius of the blue circle here. We form a, re a rectangle. The same applies to this point. We draw a line from this point to the center of a red circle, the radius here, and another radius for, for the blue circle. Then we label all the four points here, O as a center for blue circle, Q is a center for the red circle, point P, point R. When we try to measure the angles formed here, O, P, Q, and the angles formed here, O, R, Q, we found that it is 90 degrees. So if it is 90 degrees, this means that PQ is the tangent to the circle with the center O. RQ is the tangent to the circle, the blue circle with the center O. While OP is the tangent for red circle, OR is the tangent for a, for the red circle as well. Then when you try to measure QOP, this angle here, we'll find that this angle equals to QOR. Here, this angle. Okay, so QOP equals to QOR. And when we try to measure OQP, this angle here, we find that it has the same value as this angle, which is OQR. Okay, so angle OQP equals to angle OQR. And lastly, because PQ is the radius for a red circle and, R and RQ is also the radius for a red circle, PQ equals to RQ. The, the properties that we discover here will be the base to help us to understand more about the, the two tangents related to a circle, which is in the next slide. So now, we look at this given red circle. This is similar to the previous case of this, but this time, there is no second circle. Instead, we'll look at BA, which is the tangent to this red circle, and CA, which is also the tangent to this red circle. We know that there are tangents because of this 90 degrees here. So now, when you have two tangents, BA and CA, which intersects at point A, based on our previous slide, we can say that the first thing we notice here is the radius here, OB equals to OC, because both of these are the radius. And BA equals to CA, because remember these two tangents here are the radius for the another circle, which is not drawn here. Okay, so this is the first thing we will know when we have one tangent and the second tangent which intersects at point A. We can conclude that BA equals to CA. Next, we, when we draw a line from O to A, based on what we learned in the previous slide, we know that this angle equals to this angle. And this angle, so we know that AOB this angle equals to AOC, this angle. Okay, so angle AOB equals to angle AOC. And finally, we also know that this angle equals to this. Okay, the two green angles are equal. Hence, angle BAO, this angle, equals to angle CAO. So from here, we know that whenever there are two tangents, one and the second tangent intersects at a point, we can say that BA equals to CA, this angle equals to this angle, this angle equals to this angle as well. Try to look at example number one. Diagram shows a circle centered O. Given AB and CB are tangents to the circle, so now we have this case where this is a tangent, this is a tangent, that meets at point B, that intersects at point B. First, we need to find the values of X and Y, and then we find the radius of the circle, which is OA or OC. Okay, so we have this diagram here. So based on the properties we learn, when there are two tangents which intersect at point B, the first thing which we know is that AB, 
AB, the length of AB equals to the length of CB. Okay, AB has the same length as CB. So it means we know that Y equals to 10. Next, we want to find X. We know that this angle and this angle have the same value. So this here is also X. And then we look at OBC. OBC is a triangle. And it is a right angled triangle because since CB is the tangent, this angle here is 90 degrees. So for a triangle here, if we know this is 55, this is 90, we can find X by taking 180 minus 55 and minus 90. We get X, which is 35. Now we want to find the radius. The radius either OA or OC, which has the same value. So since we already have this triangle, which is a right angled triangle, we learned in the previous chapter that whenever you are given the angles and one of the side here, like for example y which is 10, we can use trigonometric functions to help us to find the length of the other sides. So in this case, since this is the hypotenuse, we have this side here, we can use uh, tangent to help us. Okay, so the formula for tangent is tangent theta equals to opposite side over adjacent side. We can take either this angle here or 55, any one. So if we take 55, y will be the opposite side. And this length here, the radius here, will be the adjacent side. So now if we take tangent 55, opposite side will be BC, adjacent side will be O or C. We know that BC is Y, which is 10 centimeters. So BC here is 10 centimeters. BC here is 10 centimeters. And if you want to find OC, we, we switch the position here. OC equals to BC over ten, tangent 55. BC is 10. So 10 over 55, tangent 55, we use the calculator, we get the answer, which is 7 centimeters. So now we know that the radius OC equals to 7 centimeters. Now example 2, diagram shows a circle centered O. Given AB and CB are tangents, so these are two tangents which intersects at B, so we know that we can use the properties we've learned just now. Then determine the values of X and Y. Okay, find X, find Y, find the length of AB, find this length, and the length of OB, find the length of this line, OB. So if we look at this, find the values of X and Y. So we start off with X here. Notice that because A or B is 60 here, according to the properties we've learned, since AB and CB are both the tangents to this circle, hence this angle equals to this angle, which is 60 degrees as well. And then if you look at ADC, ADC is subtended by the arc AC, the minor arc AC. AOC is also subtended by the arc minor arc OC, AAC. Then we can use a property that we've learned in the earlier parts of this chapter, where the angle subtended at the center here by the same arc is double the size of this value x. So meaning that this angle here from here to here is double the size of x. So we know that x is half of the total here, which is 120. So half of it is 60 itself. So x equals to 60 degrees. No calculations needed. So if you want to find y, we look at this triangle here, O, B, C, this triangle. Since CB is the tangent, hence this angle here is 90 degrees. So if we take, if you want to find y, we take 180 minus 60 minus 90. You get 30 degrees. So y is 30 degrees. Now we want to find the length of AB. Okay. So if we want to find the length of AB here, we know that we need to fill in. Uh, we need to find the information for this part. Okay. Because of this angle here, because of the properties, we know that y. Uh, this angle has the same value as y, which is 30, and the, the length of this line is the radius which is the same as OC here which is 6 and here we know that this is 90 degrees because AB is the tangent to the circle. So if we fill in the values, now we can focus here on the blue triangle. Okay, where this is 30, this is 6, 90 and 60. So if we want to find the length of AB, we need to use the trigonometric function. We can use sine, cos or tangent. So in this case, I'm using tangent. Tangent theta equals to opposite side over adjacent side. So if you're taking 30 as an angle here for the theta here, the opposite side here, the opposite side will be OA, 
the six centimeter and the adjacent side adjacent side will be a b so it's o a over over a b so tangent 30 equals to o a over a b okay we know that o a equals to six so this and we want to if we want to find a b we move tangent 30 here so we get this we use a calculator we calculate this we get the answer which is 10.39 so we know that a b is the length of 10.39 for the last question we want to find the length of o b o b so if you look at this triangle carefully you will find that o b is actually the hypotenuse of the triangle o a b since we already know that this is 6 and from the previous question we know that a b is 10.39 we don't have to use the trigonometric functions anymore even though if you want you can but we can instead use uh, pythagoras theorem where the square of hypotenuse equals to the square of this side plus the square of this side so o b squared equals to o a squared this side plus a b squared we fill in the values squared here we move it here becomes the square root we calculate this all at once we'll get the answer which is equals to 12. now we move on to the next property we want to find the relationship be uh, between the angles between the tangent and chord before i continue with all these uh, terms here we look at the example diagram so we have a circle we have a line here the line is the tangent to this circle if i draw a chord here i will form this angle this angle the blue line here is denoted by this the angle between the tangent and the chord this is the tangent this is the chord so the angles between the tangent and the chord is this with the angle in the alternate segment okay so this is one segment the minor segment this is the major segment this area here so the alternate segment refers to this part this part the alternate segment the angles here which is subtended by the chord so the angles is this we draw one line here we draw another line here so in this alternate segment we have another angle this angle is subtended by this chord this is the chord so this angle the, denoted by the red line here is this angle in the alternate segment which is subtended by the chord so we want to find the relationship between this angle and this angle but in this part we are going to jump to the conclusion and if you are interested in the process you may refer to the textbook but the conclusion here is that this angle and this angle have the same value they are equal so we try to look at this again in the second diagram so now we have a line here which is the chord of the circle it forms an angle here this is the angle denoted by the blue color okay so this is the angle between the chord and the tangent if we draw another two lines here will form another angle at a sub uh, alternate segment which is subtended by this chord so this angle between the chord and the tangent here has the same value as this angle which is at the, in the alternate segment and subtended by the same chord okay this angle is the, equals to this now we try to use this to solve some exercises Example 1, given a circle with tangent AC, so AC is the tangent, find the values of X and Y. Okay, to find X, notice that there are two angles here, which is formed between the chord and the tangent. So for this angle, we know that this angle is equals to the angles in an alternate segment, which is subtended by the same chord. Okay, so this equals to this. So 2X equals to 62. To find x, 62 divided by 2, you get 31. And then, and for and then for this angle here, this is equals to this. Okay, so y is equals to 70 degrees. Next example. Given a circle with PQ, the tangent to the circle. So PQ here is the tangent to this circle. Find the value of x and y. Y is here. So this is the tangent. RP is a chord, right? It's a chord. The angle between the chord and the tangent is x. And we know that this is equals to 42. Okay, this angle is equals to the, this angle. So we know that x equals to 42. The next thing is, if you want to find y, we can look at the triangle RQP, this triangle. If we can find this angle, where this is 180 minus 55, 
Okay, so QRP is 180 minus 55, which is 125. We take 180 minus this, 125 minus X, which is 42, you can get Y. Okay, so Y equals to 180 minus 125 minus 42. You get 13 degrees. We go to the last example. Given a circle with PR tangent to the circle, find the values of X. So X is the angle formed between the chord here and the tangent. Okay, the chord and the tangent. So we know that this angle is equals to this angle here. But we don't have the values for this. We need to use 46 and this triangle to find this angle. So now we can label these angles here as X. Okay? For this triangle, it is an isosceles triangle. Means that this angle equals to this angle. And we know that the total is 180. So 180 minus 46 divided by 2, because these two have the same value. Divided by 2, you get X. Okay, so X equals to 180 minus 46 divided by 2, because there are two base angles. You get 67, which is the answer. So in our next video, we are going to look at uh, problem solving, which involves the tangents to the circle and also the whole chapter. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you, everyone.